Derek, um, a 1-1 draw at the weekend against Fleetwood Town. Just give us your assessment on that one. Yeah, really enjoyed the game. I thought that um, you know the support was fantastic. You know we had over four thousand fans in here, and uh, the way that they, they backed the team uh, was was fantastic. And the way we played as well, the the chances we created, especially in that first period of time where we had umpteen chances to go further ahead in the game. We scored a great goal through Arthur. It's a fantastic strike. We hit the post with. Um, Ash Hunter, uh, we probably have should have a penalty kick in that first period of time. Jake Taylor uh, heads over from an open goal and their goalkeeper makes a few good saves. And that was, that was in the first period. In the second half, uh, Dylan Connolly has a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper as well. So uh, we created a lot of you know opportunities in the game. Um, we allowed them to pass the ball uh, in their own half along the centre half line. As everyone knows, that the centre half probably had more touches of the ball than anybody else in the, the team, uh, and we then, you know, were able to pick them off. We were able to get into areas where they were trying to pass it and and get into spaces. We didn't allow that, and uh, we were able to to pick them off. What you know, a lot of commentators have got to understand as well. We were down to ten men from sixty two minutes against the championship side and. On Tuesday night, and then we had extra time on that uh, on Tuesday night from uh, injury time, then penalty kicks. So that took a lot out of us that game. And then the heat on Saturday, Fleetwood had changed their team around uh, five or six changes from the midweek game to the Saturday game. So they had that freshness, and that was probably why um, they finished the stronger of the two teams. You've talked about in the past, you're, you're a serial winner, mm. you, you don't come into football to draw games. You see that game as a two points lost in that respect. Yeah, I mean probably because of the chances that we did create, and um, we had um, good openings, and we should have been, you know, further ahead at half time. And I think that if we had gone in three 0 at half time, nobody could have said anything against it. But um, we didn't take our chances, and that always allows the opposition uh, to get back in the game. They scored a fantastic goal themselves. You know, it was well worked from the point of view they got into our eighteen yard box and. Um, Andrew's coming in off his left foot onto his right and puts it in the top corner and uh, it's something you know you can't do with Do you think that kind of goal demonstrates how the game went the defensive unit rock solid I don't think Conor Ripley had too many saves to make and it's just a worldie that's just unlocked the door for him Yeah I mean that's what happens in, in this division you have to obviously be better uh, in front of goal you, you don't get as many chances as you do in League 2 um, and when the chances come along, you've got to you know, finish them off. Unfortunately for us on Saturday, we didn't. And uh, we would have been delighted with the three points. Unfortunately, we've got to take the one point and uh, you know, move on to the next game. Sticking with that defensive unit, you decided to keep as is. Jacob Dow came in on the bench. Was that just one of them things where if it's not broken, don't fix it? Yeah, I mean, it was, we were looking at uh, the game. We, we changed formation from uh, the team we played on uh, Tuesday night because... Um, we wanted to get the better of Fleetwood and an affirmation you know, allowed us to happen. And uh, we've been quite fluid and, and quite adaptable as a team to change from uh, a three at the back to a four at the back. Um, we can do different things in midfield. We can play two, we can play uh, with one sitter. Uh, it's, it's a squad that um, is ever adaptable and that's what you do need in this division because you can't play the same way all the time unless you are... Uh, a top team and uh, the top teams can play uh, in the same manner because they have better players over uh, the whole squad uh, but unfortunately you know for some teams in this division we've got to adapt and, and try and see where the strengths are in the opposition but also the weaknesses as well. One of the things that the players have spoken about this season is how vigorous pre-season was. It's mm. something that you obviously like to do is to get your boys as fit as they possibly can. In that kind of heat on Saturday, does that kind of that pre-season, how they've gone through it, preparing for moments like that and then the extra minutes that are played as well? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was definitely hard for us on Saturday because you could definitely see um, in the last 15 minutes we did tire because of the exertions of Tuesday night. Fleetwood had um, obviously changed a number of players uh, for that game. We went to win the game uh, on Tuesday night against uh, Stoke and we played a strong team on Saturday as well. So um, we're just trying to win and, and pick up as many points as we possibly can. But the fitness levels were very good from the, the team uh, and 
you know, I'm delighted to see how they're recovering from games as well because to play nine games uh, in the month of August is very difficult. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of teams in this league that have got big squads that are able to rotate. Um, we're not like that. Yes, we can make uh, two or three changes, but we're not able to make wholesale changes like, you know, other teams. You touched on it in one of your previous answers there about the, the crowd on Saturday. Turned out in the numbers once again. I think it was just under 4,000 home fans. That just gives you that extra boost that's needed in, in a Lancashire derby like that. Yeah, I mean, they've been giving us fantastic backing and uh, we're only sorry that uh, the, in the second half they didn't see as many opportunities uh, as the away fans saw against their team uh, in the first half. But, uh, you know, that sometimes happens uh, in, in football. But I'll probably explain to you probably the reasons why that did happen on the day. Switching your attentions now to Bolton on Tuesday night, never an easy game, just your, your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I mean, I remember going there last year and, and drawing 1-1, we probably should have won the game because, uh, in hindsight, um, the, the referee and the lines have made a, a bad decision, we were told that it was a it was a penalty kick and a, and a sending off uh, for Santos, he's obviously going to miss the game uh, this weekend, but um, we played ever so well that night, so did Bolton, you know, they did... Uh, they had a a pattern of play that uh, was was difficult to play against, and uh, we did really well against them, creating a number of good openings in the game. Uh, but you know, Tuesday night's different. The teams are different. Uh, they've adapted over the summer, and uh, we've added as well. What have you made to their start? I think it's two draws and a win so far. They obviously played really well against Wickham in that home game, three nil. Mm-hmm. It's never an easy place to go. Yeah, I mean, I ended to beat Wickham. 3-0, no, uh, you know, has to be doing something right and uh, we, you know, looked at that game, we've looked at the game from Saturday, looked at previous games, we understand uh, their philosophy and uh, we understand, you know, what we've got to do to get the better of them. It's not one of them that you always say it's it's nice thing to happen, but Ricardo Santos, as you said, not going to be involved. One, you, you must be quite happy with that because of the presence that he is, but two, do those kind of fixtures miss a player of that calibre? Yeah, I mean, they've obviously got one that will come straight in. I think that uh, Amison will come uh, straight in and replace him uh, in the team. But Santos is a big miss for him because uh, he's quick, he's strong, he's good on the ball uh, and he's a presence for them. But um, they've got a squad that's is able to, to change and, and they've taken in one that's uh, you know, highly experienced as well. How are we looking going into that game on Tuesday night? Any changes, any injuries? Um, no, we're just exactly the same we are for from Saturday's game. Mazuma